Ah, uh, hello, hello. I am back and I am so very sorry uh, that I had to hang up so abruptly. I um, got an emergency call and com had to just be able to answer it. Uh, so I apologize to you guys for having to hang up so abruptly. But this is, uh, of course, still day six and we're talking about social support. And you know, social support really is an external uh, factor, external variable in our life. And what we have to understand is that our external is essential f for defining who we are, right? But what we have to also keep in mind is that our internal is equally, if not more important, important than the external, the social support. So this is also why I decided that today would be the perfect day to talk about social support because we really needed those five days before that, four or five days before that, to get an understanding of who we are, how we function, and then be able to take that and um, expand it to our external support. So as we talk about you know, who we are, how we are, what we want for our future, we must really get an understanding of first who we are so that our loved ones, so that our friends, our coworkers, peers, um, anyone can support us in what it is we're trying to do, right? Because if we don't know what we want, how do we go get the resources for that? Um, so I can see that my camera, of course, now is having a little bit of an issue. Um, so I want to make sure that I am keeping one hand on my laptop or at minimum create some sort of a support. So, you know, it's really funny. I seem to always have some sort of technical issue and I was talking to a, a I want to say a peer of mine about this and I said you know it's really uh, interesting that I never have tech issues of any kind and then all of a sudden you know it's time for me to go live and tech issues happen and life issues happen and I'm just it's just really interesting to me that um, anytime that I have my live event schedule, something happens, something always happens. And I think I talked about this last time that, you know, when it's important work, um, and, and people say this, you know, you get tested. And I don't think you, you know, it's really that you get tested. I think it, you know, it's your mind's way and your universe's way of, um, you know, uh, weighing out your motivation for getting things done because a lot of times people you know when things get tough they give up they'll just be like well forget it I don't want to do it and I you know I want to show up here every single Friday and so it tests you know life tests my motivation and I use the word test but life weighs out my motivation for how badly I actually want to do this and it's preparing me um for whatever may come my way so i'm okay with this and i apologize to you guys for all these tech issues i'm having and uh emergencies that really um could have waited but didn't wait so so but that's okay here i am and we'll go ahead and get started i also will do my best to um keep uh, with the time uh, and give you as many details as possible. The other uh, item I wanted to share with you guys is I am offering a virtual workshop uh, starting mid-June and it's going to be a deep dive of exactly what it is we're talking about right now and we're going to be you know laying the foundation for who you are through self-awareness okay uh, then we're going to talk about body image and we've talked about a lot of this or you know parts of a lot of this already and we're going to uh, continue to do a deep dive uh, we will do an assessment of where you are right now we will do goal creation 
And then we'll talk about each of these areas, such as, as I mentioned, self-awareness, body image, acceptance and ownership of yourself, which is really, really important to me to talk about. Um, we will talk about how to create your mindset around your identity. And we will also talk about cultivating healthy relationships, social support, career, uh, finances. So if you're interested in this workshop, I would love for you to DM me for more details. DM the word identity and I would be honored to send you the information for you to get registered. Additionally, if you click on this link below um, that I'm also going to share with you uh, before the end of the, these live sessions, I am going to be offering a discount for people that register during these live sessions. So even if you watched it as a replay, um, I, I, I'm, you know, I will still honor that discount, uh, but it'll be offered till the last day of these live sessions. So which is today and then two more Fridays, which will put us on at June 2nd. And I, um, like I said, I will be offering a um, discount to anybody that registers before June 2nd. So anyway, we'll go ahead and get started. I will just do a quick overview of rules of engagement. I've been talking about them for the last five weeks. So this should be very quick and easy in terms of understanding what my expectations for these calls are. Um, and then we'll dive right in into what it is that we uh, are going to be talking about and addressing. All right. So going back to rules of engagement, be present, be open minded, be ready to receive. Just be, be here. Remove all distractions from your area. And, you know, I keep talking about remove distractions, remove distractions, remove distractions. And then it's so funny that I keep getting pulled into conversations uh, that are of urgent nature. And so it's, it's a great experience even for myself and for you to watch me be able to navigate that as well, because life doesn't stop just because we're here but I do my best. I put my phone on do not disturb. The dog is taken care of. There's nobody at home. Uh, and I generally will let my family know, look, I've got this live session on Friday from, you know, noon to one Eastern. And I would really like that. Uh, there are no distractions. So you do the best that you can. I'm not saying, you know, completely kick everybody out of the house and turn your phone off entirely. That's not humanly possible, especially if you're a mom, if you might be at work, uh, you're you know running your own business. Those are things that are not possible sometimes, and I'm understanding of that. So we'll work with it, but re you know remove distractions, distractions, excuse me, as much as possible. Also share this with anyone that you think might benefit from this experience. Also, because sharing is caring. Um, I want to make sure that uh, you and I together are able to um, reach as many people as possible. So we definitely want to keep that in mind. Make sure that you are hydrating. So I've got my water bottle, also my vice, and this is my cup of coffee. Um, make sure to watch the live or the replay in sequence because the material builds on itself. And if you've watched a couple of my lives, you know what I'm talking about. I will always tell you, refer back to this or refer back to that. And then that will help you to keep continually access the material that, um, you know, helps you to build that foundation. Um, engage with feedback, comments, click on the links below. I, I want to connect with you. I want to hear from you. If you are someone who is ready to transform your life, to optimize your life, to take it to that next level, then I want to talk to you. Click on the link above 
or below and get yourself on my calendar so that we can help propel you forward. Um, make sure that uh, you calendarize the rest of the events. We've got two more coming up after today. Uh, and so next Friday, June 26th, excuse me, May 26th, 2023 at noon. And then the following Friday, June 2nd, 2023 at noon as well. Um, make sure you take notes. I know like the kind of person I am, if I'm taking notes, I'm remembering it. I'm practicing it. I'm keeping it in mind. It's front of mind for me. Um, I talked about click, clicking on the links to get yourself on my calendar, to get yourself subscribed, and uh, to get more information on the virtual workshop that I'll be host, hosting starting mid-June. Um, be kind and compassionate to yourself. Throughout this entire transformation journey, please be kind and compassionate to yourself. There's no way for you to be able to do anything if you are not being kind to yourself. So be kind to yourself. Um, be honest with yourself. This is a really, really hard concept for people to grasp because honesty, brutal honesty, is really hard to face. But you must be honest with yourself so that you can create real-time, achievable goals and aspirations. You don't have to be, you don't have to tell anyone else. Just be honest with yourself, okay? Um, attach yourself to what resonates, leave behind what doesn't. Um, I, I always, you know, I always say this to people. I love interactions with friends, family, uh, complete strangers sometimes because you are always learning something from someone. And if with every interaction you can walk away with just one thing, then you are already much more ahead than most of the people that are um, within your realm. So I would say, if at all possible, interact with people as much as you possibly can and um, learn from them. Learn from everybody. That is the best way to transform when you can gain insight and learn from everybody. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get started. We'll talk about social support. I'm a, I'm a pen to paper gal. I've tried the whole typing my notes on my computer and I tend to still get confused. <laughs> I'm saying I get confused, but I, I like my thoughts jotted down. Um, you might hear the puppy in the background whining a little bit. He's clearly having a moment. Come here. Come join us. So we're, today we're going to talk about social support. So thus far we've talked about you, right? Your goals, your aspirations, what your, future, what your vision for your future is going to look like. That so far it's been all about you. And what is happening is now that you have created yourself you're starting to exude this um this glow around you this aura around you and so now that that aura is around you you're gonna need to find support you're gonna need to find pillars that are going to help you help hold you up and continue to propel you forward and this is where your social support comes in. What is, what is your internal is who you are on the inside, your, your aspirations, your vision of your future self, your goals. That's who you are. What are you right now and what do you want for yourself? Once you've figured that out, then we are going to need help. And here are some ways that you're going to reach out and ask for help and seek out help 
Um, but before we, I get into the different zones, which we have 10 zones um, on this domain, uh, before I talk to you about the different zones, I want to talk to you about the benefits of receiving social support, okay? So when you have social support that is aligned with your current and future self, this is what you're going to receive in return, okay? It's going to provide you with emotional support and acceptance. We all need it. So if you're somebody who thinks to yourself, I don't need it, yes, you do. I need it. And I go around telling people I don't need it, and I'm gonna tell you I need it. I need to have people in my corner. Everybody needs people in their corner. You're also going to have sustainable emotional well-being. So this week was a little harder for me, um, both personally and professionally. And, you know, I had to sit down. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine and I had to really sit down and she's like, well, how are you doing? And I said, you know, I, my response to how are you doing was, well, I'm not upset yet. I'm not sad yet. And I know that I should be feeling those things. And so I'm going to allow for myself to feel whatever it is that I need to feel in order to heal from everything that I'm experiencing this week. And I'm not going to suppress any feeling that I have, whether it's sadness, uh, anger, resentment, whatever it is that I'm experiencing at each moment I'm going to allow for myself to experience that and the reason I'm going to do that is because I don't want to suppress what I'm feeling if I were to suppress what I am feeling and bury it deep within my psyche it's going to eventually impact me and my future interactions my future relationships my future work and I don't I want to be able to heal from it so that I can continue to show up better. There are certain things in life, whether it's personally or professionally, that we simply cannot control. So how do we respond to the things that we cannot control? We allow for them to happen. And, and the reason I'm able to say this is because I have sustainable emotional well-being that doesn't mean that i don't ever get sad and i don't ever get angry and i don't even ever feel any of the feelings that I, you know everyone feels i feel them believe me i feel them but what i have learned is that i have to allow for them to show up if i'm angry enough to throw something at the wall i may not throw something at the wall but I will experience that. I will allow for that feeling to come into me and I will experience it and then I can release it. I can learn from it and I can release it. And the only reason I am able to sit here and talk to you about it and uh, you know, show you what to do is because I have learned to do it. I have learned that I have to allow for these things to happen. And that's exactly what I want to teach you. So I want you to please, please, please get on a discovery call so that we can all grow and transform together so that we can transform and optimize all of our generations, all our future generations. I don't just do this for myself. I do this for my children. When I am able to sustain my emotional well-being, I am able to show up for my children a much better person, and I am able to teach my children how to navigate their own emotional well-being. So I've already transformed two generations. When I'm able to do it with myself and I'm able to teach my children how to do it, I've already done it for two generations. So come learn from me. Come learn from me. Um, you're also going to attract people in your life that will serve as role models and help you to form your ideal identity. 
you will have healthy self and social comparison and self-evaluation. You're not going to do it from a competitive perspective, but from a, a nurturing perspective. People in your life will encourage and motivate you as needed in the formation of your new identity. You will experience a sense of belonging. You will experience strength when you are facing adversities and you will have enhanced self-awareness confidence and overall well-being so emotional mental and physical so these are the benefits of having a healthy social support and it starts with the most influential people in your life so here's an activity that i want you to do this is a very interactive oh. session it will always be interactive and i want you to start out by making a list of the five most influential people in your life and here are the things to consider when you are doing that okay um, reflect on your journey thus far and identify the people that have had the greatest influence in your life these are people who have impacted your beliefs your values and your aspirations. Examples would be family members, friends, mentors, teachers, colleagues, and or community members. Reflect on the highest qualities that you hold to the highest value. Let me say that again. Reflect on the qualities that you hold the highest value for and this is going to help you to start bringing everything together so some examples of high qualities are kindness wisdom integrity creativity perseverance and leadership now break it all down further into different categories that are important to you. Let me say that part again while I'm fixing the mess that my hair is today. Um, break down the qualities that are most important to you into different categories and here are the categories that i want you to use personal professional academic and spiritual personal professional academic and spiritual now that you've done that the excitement begins we're going to start by matching the qualities that we just talked about to the names of the people that are the most influential in your life. Match the qualities to the most influential people in your life. Now clearly document the person the quality and its impact in your life. This will help you to identify the impact you are going to receive. Once you have done all of this, look at it and be grateful for it. Puppy's going crazy, just letting you guys know. So if you're into like psychic readings and tarots and all of that, you know, they'll generally say when you hear things like uh, a distraction of, of sorts, uh, for example, my puppy wailing for my mom, that's a confirmation. Gratitude is a confirmation. Be grateful for everything that you have. Okay, 
Now we're going to move into the next zone and we're going to talk about personalities that you want to embody. It's really big. I'm not talking about celebrities and I'm not talking about those, you know, people that you hold uh, that are in the media and they're, you know, doing all these large things in their life and, you know, it's, uh, you know, hard to reach people. I'm, I want to talk about the personalities that you want to embody that are accessible for you. And here's how you're going to do it. Make a list of five personalities you want to keep in your life, in the present and the future. And the reason I say that is because we become what we are surrounded by. Let me say this again. We become what we are surrounded by. So take some time to yourself, take some space. This will help you to think clearly. Think back to your core values and your goals. And we created those on day one. Evaluate all your current relationships against your core values and your goals. Let me say that again evaluate your current relationships all your current relationships against your core values and your goals identify the values and goals that are common between you and the people that you are surrounded by identify the values and the goals between you and the people that you are surrounded by. Assess whether these relationships will be mutually beneficial. Consider how these relationships are impacting your emotional and mental well-being. Are they empowering you or disabling you? And I'm going to talk about this again. Can you trust and rely on these people? Can you trust and rely on these people? Pay attention to their effort of staying connected with you through connection and quality time. I will say that again. Pay attention to their effort of staying connected with you through connection and quality time. Who's making, who's truly making an effort for you? Make an effort. Now this is for you doing it. Make an effort to nurture and invest in these relationships. It's mutually beneficial. It's a two-way street. It takes two to tango. It's going to take effort on both your ends. Now, all these things that I talked about, all these steps that I talked about to evaluate the personalities that are currently in your life, now I want you to become this personality. Become somebody who is trustworthy, reliable, who has integrity, who is willing to give, who is kind, who has wisdom, become that person. The next zone we're going to talk about is creating a list of five board of directors. So in the last zone I had talked about, let you know, I had mentioned, let's not talk about people that are not accessible to you. In the board, the list of board of directors, you are allowed to, to access anybody. And so like emotionally, um, some of my people, you know, some of the people that are on my board of directors are, uh, for example, Tony Robbins. What would he do? Um, on my current board of directors is my coach. Um, 
on my board of directors are people like uh, Dalai Lama uh, or Buddha or um, some of the women I am highly, highly influenced by Michelle Obama, uh, Ariana Huffington, um, Maria Forleo. Um, let's see, who else? Oprah. If you've listened to Oprah's life story, um, on my board of directors is also a couple of women that I go to the gym with. And I've talked about them in, you know, during the other live sessions. So this is a board of directors that I sort of keep as a fluid. And it's not, to me, it's not limited to five because I'm working on many different areas of my life, right? So I ask myself, well, what would Anna say? If I'm, if I'm not motivated to go to the gym, but I know Anna's story and Anna's at the gym every single day, well, what would Anna say to me, right? So your board of directors is a mental boardroom that you would sit in. Network with and seek out people who embody the qualities that you seek to instill within yourself. This is how you will become the person that you want to. And this is how you'll do it. Are these people those whom you can trust and those who have integrity? When seeking out people that will help propel you forward, allow for diversity to be an asset. I'll say that again. When you are seeking out people that will help propel your growth forward, allow for diversity to be an asset. Invest in people that are supportive and encouraging and give, and you give the same in return. Listen more than you speak and with all your senses. You're not just listening with your ears. You're listening with your eyes, you're listening with your intuition, you're watching, you're feel like not touchy feely, but what type of energy are they giving out? Are their actions matching their words? Your board of directors and you should have a positive rapport and comfort. And I'm going to say the lot, we're going to talk about the last zone and then we'll call it a day. So the, the next zone, which is not the last zone, but the last zone for today is family support. And your family is absolutely essential in who you are about to become. Okay. Assessment of who in your family is in support of you making these changes in your life. This is really, really important for you to understand. And here's how you're going to do it. Consider who has been supportive of you in the past. Consider who listens to you when you share your frustration. Consider their own current life situations and their ability to be available, supportive, and reliable. Compare and contrast how each person communicates and whether this will be enabling or disabling. Will it uplift you or weigh you down? Beware of actions and behavior. And you know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Consider the people that are encouraging and believe in you. Consider them in the highest honor. And seek out family members who show up with a non-judgmental attitude.
our family as our immediate enabler or the savior. And you have to figure out, you have to assess, evaluate who is going to be there for you and who is not. And with that, I will bid you adieu. Again, my name is Anar Masani, and I am your friendly mindset mentor and coach. Please click on the links above to get better access uh, to the products that I'm providing. Set yourself up for a discovery call. Through this discovery call, we talk about where you are right now, where you're wanting to go, and we create an action plan. You, and I'd also like for you to please leave me a testimonial. If you've learned anything from me, enjoyed my time with you, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And if you are ready to make that transformation, it would be my honor to be your champion. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Friday. Bye-bye.